Hey guys, how's it going? Rover here, welcome to another Epic 7 video. Today we'll be continuing in Abyss, doing floor 68. Now the rewards here is... 300 dark steel. Uh, like the previous floor, you can do uh, 6 crafts if you have steel workshop uh, fully maxed. Moving on, we'll check the enemies for this floor. For the boss, we have Mukacha, first kill. Attacks with a spear, absorbing 20% of combat readiness. Damage increases proportional to his speed. Alright, he steals combat readiness. Not too bad. Dispels all buffs and decreases defense for 2 turns. Also scales in speed. Okay, 4 turns, that's, that's pretty long, so not too bad. Uh, wild is a passive skill, increase speed of all allies by 3% every time he attacks and stacks up to 10 times okay that's a lot of speed i'm seeing speed everywhere unfortunately i don't have a hero that can decrease speed so i'm kind of a in a disadvantage here bleed for one turn and increase speed of two allies and he gets an extra turn 15 percent chance to use invoke magic invoke magic increase defense for one turn. Mm, not bad. Increase combat readiness by 10%. Increase speed and attack. Speed again. Decrease speed and increase speed. That's a lot of speed. Increase attack and defense to an ally for two turns. This guy increase speed of a random ally two turns. Wow, I'm seeing, I'm seeing a lot of speed, and I don't have a unit who can decrease speed. Okay, I'm gonna disadvantage you, so I'm gonna have to find a different way to tackle this. Um, hmm. Well, the boss is Earth type, so I can definitely use like a fire, maybe like a fire based team, since they don't have ice type. And there's a lot, a lot of monsters. So I'll probably need an AoE DPS. Single target DPS to deal with the uh, Mukacha. Uh, tank and a healer. What? No, tank and a buffer. Yeah. Yeah, I think that works. Alright, we'll go for that. For the team build, um, definitely can. Definitely can. Single target and guaranteed defense break. Alright, next one. Um... Corvus for the lols. <laughs> now I'm using Corvus because he has he can decrease combat readiness and some of their skills increases their combat readiness. So yeah, yes. And I'm gonna have a bit of fun here. I'm gonna use Charlotte for the AOE. She'll be the AOE DPS and the last one will use Hazel. Yeah. Yeah, this sounds good. Now I'm gonna check uh, Hazel's artifact. She's... yes, okay. She's using the right one. Because, uh... All of these guys don't have a lot of crit. So having uh, Midnight Bloom would definitely help with this team. Now, this looks like it may not work. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just trying this out. I'm um, using a Fire Mono team. And we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Alright, we have Corvus first. Yeah, we'll just push them back. Overcome with Corvus, uh, with his rage, his S2 will trigger twice, so that's instead of 30% uh, combat readiness decrease, it's 60%. Eat this. And uh, I'm using Charlotte as an AOE DPS because her skill multiplier on her S3 at max focus is pretty high. So she'll be my uh, cleanup. I will guide you to the <laughs> Already? Rage already? Damn. All right. Uh, I guess I'll just use it. My goddess. Here. I mean, you know, with this, uh, Hazel doesn't really heal that much 
because uh, her healing scales on her attack. But Colvis has self-sustain, so it's not that bad. The only thing that Hazel needs to do is to babysit Charlotte because she's more of a DPS rather than Bruiser. Slightly more towards DPS. Teach you some manners. The rest of them are Bruisers, so they can take a lot of damage without dying. Especially Ken. I will guide uh, we got light. Rage up again, but uh, I don't think I need to use that. I think I'll just stun this guy. Look at that. <laughs> Let's have a go around. Complete lockdown. Stun everywhere. Now we got push again, but uh, I don't think I need to use that. Oh, they resisted that stun. All right. Got four focus on Charlotte. Just need one more, and then I can just spam her S three. This seems like an easy one. All right. Uh, crystal first. Definitely. Oh, what the crystal? Resisted that. Um, who should I use this to? Hmm. I don't think I need. Yeah, just whatever. Whatever. Any of them will do. I mean, that guy does have a attack buff, so we'll, we'll just decrease his attack. Balance it out. Right, mascot Hazel is up. We we'll uh -huh. give it just to Charlotte, I'll teach you and then Charlotte can just go for the spin to win. Right, Charlotte, spin to win. No, actually, uh, I think I'll go for the stun here instead. Actually, <laughs> I want to. I want Ken to at least get a uh, defense break on someone. I will guide you mm, two more turns until his uh, S two. We'll stun this guy. Make my day. All right, Ken. I need you to add the defense break on the crystal. Nice. I wish now, help me. Charlotte goes for oh, the spin to win. You know, if you want to know how much damage she does at uh, max focus on her S3, it's as big as her forehead. Look at that. 26k. She's pretty good. Oh, nice duo! Alright, we took down that guy. It's just one more. Uh, will you help me? Hello? The lady one turn cooldown on her S3. Not too bad. Make my day. Let's go! Oh nice. Yeah, <laughs> but she do. It doesn't do that much on her S1, because I, I didn't skill enhance any of her skills. So the fact that she did a lot of damage on her S3 without skill enhancing it, that says quite a lot. Yeah, we just push them back. Hazel's up. One more turn on her S3. Now his ulti is up. Uh, I don't think he's gonna kill anyone with that. I'm not sure whether uh, Corvus's rage buff gets dispelled. Because I know Ken's uh, vigor cannot be dispelled. I think. Ah, <laughs> no damage. Get out of here. Get out of here. Mm, should I give it to Charlotte or Ken? My day. Oh no! <laughs> Maybe it should have been Ken since he has his S3 up. We got attack down on him. No damage, man. No damage. Now this is gonna take a while. I'll use Soul Burn S2 for the extra turn. Uh, that leaves us 10 soul burn for uh we'll give that to Charlotte. Let's have a go around. Let's combine our strength. 
Keep calm. I will guide you to the path of light. Uh, I'm gonna use this S3 here just to get more souls. Just to get more souls. Let's push him back. Charlotte is up. Go for the spin to win. Nice, 27k. Master Hazel two turns on her S3. Ken. Ah. Oh, resisted. All right. I will guide you to the path of light. Just no more attack. Are you good? Did he? What? Did he just? Did he just do 10k on his normal attack? <laughs> what? Corvus? That's a lot of damage. All right, there we go. That was fun. That was fun. <laughs> they can't kill for this man. They they just can't. And the fact that there's a lot of uh, a lot of the mobs attacking him, his spirit just goes straight to the roof. Unlimited rage. Unlimited rage. That was pretty easy. Uh, Fire Mono Team. It works for this floor. At least for me. Alright, thank you for watching. And uh, I'll see you in another Epic 7 video. Rover out.